Lightroom has recently dropped some pretty incredible updates that are gonna help creators like you and me to edit our photos faster. Some of the biggest ones that they have done is in the presets area, giving us incredible sliders to be able to drop a preset on and then adjust that preset. But it doesn't stop there. I'm gonna show you three ways in which I'm using these new tools to edit faster and some really cool tips and tricks inside of masking. So let's dive into it. So in this video, I've handpicked a few photos that I'm gonna edit for you guys and show you some of these new features. So over here on the left side is where you guys have all the presets. Some of them are, you can get directly from Lightroom in here they've got their preset uh, presets I've got some of my own that I'm gonna show you here because there's some of the tools inside of those presets are really cool so I'm gonna pick this preset here called the Texan I just recently moved to Texas if you want to watch that video you can watch it up here but what's great about it is the presets now have a slider so you can actually change the amount of that preset that you want and even kind of push it past I personally haven't seen great results pushing it past 100 um, for any of them so that in itself is pretty incredible having the ability to dial back a preset of your choosing, that's awesome. But on top of that, it automatically updates any of the artificially intelligent subject detecting, holy smokes, that's a lot of verbiage. It automatically detects the subjects and pre-applies that, whereas in the previous update, it would select a subject, but you'd have to come into the masking and then hit update. Now it's automatically updating that for you which is insane and so cool. So as you can see, it's automatically picked my car here. And if I want to, I can adjust some of those things in there. And then as well, you can see up top here, you can adjust the amount for each particular mask. So thanks Lightroom, that's so helpful. One of the last things that they have given us is if you click on the three dots here in the mask is now you can duplicate and invert that mask, which is kind of cool. And one of the cool ways that I like to use this is obviously you can kind of now start to adjust anything around your subject without having to impact, in this case, the car. And there's some pretty cool use cases that I'm sure you guys can get really creative and create your own kind of spin on this. I've created a really cool preset using this tool called Signature Monochrome. So one thing I love to do is you just apply this and you can see that it's gonna start automatically selecting our subject and using all of our masks that we have built into our presets. Now, of course, you can just dial this preset back. If you'd like, you can push it past if you want. Again, not great results. But if you come up into your masking here, then we can start to see everything that is already done for us. Now, I've got the ground selected here and I have selected to subtract the subject. If you hit O, you can see that it's taken away the feet there in the image. Now, let me show you a really cool tool that you can use inside of these masks as well. So I selected the sky here. I'm gonna delete that and show you how I use that tool. So if you come up to create new mask, we'll select sky, but if you pull that back, it tends to do this whole sky and it doesn't really give you a nice kind of fade. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drag that down to the point we want, but then we're gonna click into this, we're gonna hold option, and it's gonna give us this option to intersect. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna intersect it with a linear gradient. Then from there, we're gonna drag down from the top, hold shift, and it'll keep that straight for you. And we're just gonna drag down. So then we get a bit more of a, faded sky and it doesn't kind of impact the bottom kind of where it intersects with the rest of the mask, which I don't love. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit subtract and I'm gonna hit select subject so that it doesn't make any impact on my skin tones there. What I love about this new AI is that you can copy all of these by hitting command C, copy those and you can paste it over to any of your photos and it's gonna automatically select your subject. It's gonna do all of that already within your photos. So that's a really quick look at Lightroom's new incredible AI presets and masking tools. I'm super happy that they are giving us these tools and that it's speeding up my workflow an insane amount. As you guys can see, there's so much that you can do and build into your presets. Now, if you guys are interested, you can check those out down below. Now, if you guys are interested in getting one of your photos edited by me, it is that time to submit your photos. I'm gonna drop a folder down below and you guys can submit your photos to me. They have to be in the raw format. Do not submit JPEGs and they have to be in this very specific title format so that I know who sent me the photo and that way I can make sure that you are credited appropriately when I post this video. But I've loved making these episodes for you guys. You keep requesting them so now is the time to submit down below. If you are into automotive photography or videography, I love teaching you guys this stuff so feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, 
yeah we'll see you in the next one <laughs> peace